Okay, fifth graders, we're doing 2 5, pages 62, 63, and 64. And this is all about subtracting decimals. You guys know how to add decimals. We've been uh, uh, doing that. Um, and subtracting def decimals is really no, no different um, in that uh, they gave us an example. I think it was yesterday's lesson or maybe the day before. Uh, let's see, I had a 67.81, uh, and if I was adding, let's say, a 21.12, how that would be different from 67.81 adding 21.12. The only only difference is is that you have to keep track of the of the decimals and where they are, and you know when you're subtracting decimals you line them up, and so if this was a subtraction problem, instead of an addition problem, um, again the only difference is, is that you would have to line up the decimals. So if I wrote sixty seven point eight one and I'm subtracting twenty one point twelve. Um, you would treat it like a subtraction problem and just keep the decimals lined up. Um, over in the example here, they're talking about a couple different butterflies and uh, one says that you can use a number line over here in B to subtract. And what we're subtracting here is, um, here's the larger butterfly. It's uh, five 0.92 centimeters and we're subtracting 4.37 and then we want to find the difference when we subtract um, and so the first thing they did here in example B is they subtracted the 4 which is in the ones place then they subtracted the 0.3 which is in the tens place and then the, finally the 0 0.07 which is in the hundreds place um, that's one way you could look at doing it if you wanted to. Um, another way is to subtract, <coughs> excuse me, using partial differences. It's kind of the same thing, but not on the number line. The first thing you do is subtract the four if you want, which is the four ones. Then you subtract the three tenths, which is represented here. And finally, the seven hundredths, which is represented here. And you end up with 1.5. So those those are um, a couple different strategies that you could use if that would help you to uh, do some subtraction problems. And that's what this lesson is about. You're subtracting decimals. That's what it's all about here. Um, I'm not worried about the, the convince me. Um, I think that's really actually kind of answered above. But let's look at the guided practice here. Um, let's see. Guided practice number one. Um, what have we got here? So it says, how can you use the addition to check that 1.55 centimeters is the difference between the wingspans of the two butterflies? Well, let's, uh, let's look at that again here for a moment. Um, the larger one uh, is uh, 5.9 two centimeters and we were subtracting 4.37 and we got 1.55 how could you check to see if that's if that's correct or not well let me ask you this what if I had a number here what if I had six subtracting two equals four what could I do to check using addition to see if if that's if four is actually the difference well what I would do is I would add up what I was subtracting and what my answer was what is two plus four equal equal six does that equal six what we started with yes it does so the same thing can be applied here um, what if I add 4.37 and 1.55? What do I get? I'll get 5.92. So let's go back to this problem here. 
and uh, you guys can write it any way you want, but you're going to be adding, um, and I didn't write it down here. Let's go back to it. Uh, 5.92 uh, subtracting 4.37. So 5.92 subtracting uh, 4.37. 5. 0.92 subtracting 4.37 um, you would add a 4.37 adding uh, 1.55 and you should get what you would get 5.92 look at number two Maria wrote that 45.59 minus 7.9 as 45 5.59 minus 7.90. That she changed the value of the points or 7.9 by placing a zero after the nine? Uh, no, because adding zeros um, does not change the value. And I've explained that to you guys multiple times. Okay, so I see some here with some dollar signs. Don't forget, uh, when you see dollar signs, your answer has to have a dollar sign. Otherwise, it would be considered wrong. Um, let's see here. Let's do one of these. Um, how about... Uh, uh, I don't know. How about number four here? 7.21 subtracting uh, 6.1. You can add a zero if you want. It's not necessary. We're subtracting zero from one is still one. One from two is one. The decimal comes straight down and six from seven is one. The answer is going to be 1.11. You guys should be able to do these without too much of a problem here. So I'll just uh, let you figure out the rest of those on your own. Let's go to the last page here, the problem solving. Let's take a look at that here for a moment. Um, the pyramid, I can't pronounce that, measured 143.5 meters high and the pyramid of uh, Menkere, I don't know, <laughs> that sounds more French than Egyptian, is 65.5 meters high. Write and solve an equation to find D and D is the difference in the heights. So we're going to subtract one from the other. You're going to subtract um, from 143.5. You're going to subtract 65.5, 65.5. And you're just going to set that up as a subtraction problem. So 5 from 5 is 0. Decimal comes straight down. 5 from 3, you can't do that, so we're going to have to borrow and this is the ones place, so we're going to borrow 10. And so that 4 becomes a 3, and I'll just put that there to remind myself, and I'm going to add a 10 to that 3, so that becomes 13. 13 from 5, or uh, 5 from 13 is 8. 6 from 3, well, we can't do that. So again, we have to borrow. The 1 becomes a 0, and I'm going to add... Um, Add 10 to that, so 6, uh, th um, I'm sorry, uh, 6 from 13, that's going to be 7. So 78, and what are we talking about? We're talking about meters. So make sure you label these. And I think I mentioned this before, in most of the problem solving, it's important that you guys label um, these, because some of them has to be labeled. Uh, let's see here. So in this one, you would label it liters. They're talking about liters. Um, I, I, yeah, you could do the rest of these on your own. I don't see anything that looks particularly problematic. Um, Abe had 156.43 in his bank account. He made two withdrawals shown in his check register. So here's the two withdrawals right here this one and this one 
And uh, how much money does he have left in the bank account after he makes those two withdrawals? Okay, so that's the first question you have to answer. All right, looks like there might be more than one question. How much uh, money does he have left in his bank account? That's one question. He must have at least 100 in his account by the end of the month or he will be charged a fee. How much money does he need to deposit to avoid being charged a fee? So that tells me right there that what is subtracted from his account, when you add these two up and subtract it from the 156.43, he is going to be less have less than a hundred dollars and the second question is to figure out how much money he would have to add back in to have at least a hundred dollars and i'll let you guys figure that one out so that's it short video um and we will grade this let's see what is so uh thursday friday so this is your friday homework we will grade this on tuesday because remember, um, no school uh, on Monday. That's an O, not an A. <laughs> on Monday. No school on Monday. It's Labor Day. So the next time we will meet will be on Tuesday. We will grade this on Tuesday. Okay. All right, you guys, that's it. And I'll see you uh, uh, tomorrow.